apprenticeship program in Kansas aims to alleviate teacher vacancy problems in schools across our state. 13's Callie Holthouse is here to explain for us tonight. Callie? Yeah, David, the registered teacher apprenticeship program tackles one of the biggest obstacles many would be teachers face finances. Brandy Smith has always been passionate about kids, but after life took some unexpected turns, her teaching aspirations were put on hold. I never got back to being a teacher, like finishing my degree, and then I couldn't afford it because you know how life is and then you have kids and you can't afford anything. For Smith and many other would-be educators, finances are the greatest barrier keeping them from the classroom. But a new pilot program is trying to change that. The uh, Registered Teacher Apprenticeship Program, it is a partnership between uh, the Department of Education and the Department of Commerce uh, to, to kind of find a new way to get people into the uh, into the teaching profession. It works by allowing school districts to hire aspiring teachers it already has a relationship with, like a paraprofessional or former student. The apprenticeship is akin to student teaching, but the apprentices are paid and get their tuition covered by the district. The goal is to have a tuition-free experience for these individuals that are participating in this program. They finish their teacher preparation program with no student debt, uh, and enter into the workforce as a licensed teacher. Now, aspiring teachers get the practical training they need without stressing over a way to make ends meet at home. Whereas, you know, if someone wanted to be a teacher really bad, but they couldn't afford school or they couldn't student teach without having a job, this will really help them to be able to do their passion while getting paid. Kelly says the program is a step in the right direction towards filling teacher vacancies in Kansas. This apprenticeship, I think, will allow more teachers that want to actually be in the classroom be able to get there. Now the program is just in its pilot stage now, but it is set to launch statewide next year. David. We'll see where it goes and follow up. All right, Callie, thanks.